So hello everyone, I'm Tofu, and as you can see, we've got a shiny new resident services up and available for everyone to use. By everyone I mean me. We've also got Mabel, and this should be the third time that we've seen her, so we should be able to plonk the, uh, the Taylor's plot down and get that moved in as well. And obviously we've got the cuteness that is Isabel moving into the staff. Fantastic. So there are plenty of things we can be doing today. The main objective of today is to move the campsite in and then move in our smug villager. And as we've got Mabel here, we'll also talk to her and make sure that we can get the uh, Taylor's plot down. Wow, that was a lot of dialogue just for put down our shop. <laughs> I forgot how much dialogue there is. Okay, so I'm gonna head off to one of the beaches and see where I can place this thing. Hopefully there's enough space here, but honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if it's uh, bigger than I remember it being. Oh, that's a nice surprise. Yeah, fantastic. This is the spot. Okay, fabulous. So I have been doing a little bit of off-camera grinding. So there's plenty of things that has happened. I got my first gift from one of my newly uh, invited villagers. And Bo decided he would give me a western-style stone. Basically a grave. So thanks, Bo. Really appreciate it. I gave Shari a sheep costume, so hopefully she'll be walking around the island looking like a sheep. She also gave me my very first recipe dupe, which isn't appreciated, but there you go. I've also done a load of weeding on the uh, cliffs and removed all the flowers and basically moved them here. So all the flowers are now contained within one little space. I even got my first little hybrid. Very nice pink windflower. I've also managed to uh, save Gulliver from his plight, so he has actually sent me a thing in the mail, so let's check out what that is. And I've also got a fair number of little bits and bobs as well. Okay, and the present from Gulliver is... A Tamo Shanta. I have no idea what that is. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, Scottish Highland hat? You know what? That's alright. I don't mind that, why not? <laughs> a bit different, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to, I guess, pop into the uh, resident services and uh, see what info they've got for me. Okay, so I'm going to talk to Tom Nook first. See what he's got for me. I did actually expand my home as well, so I've got a little bit more storage than usual. It's very nice. Okay, so he wants KK Slider, obviously, on the island, and yeah, I'm his biggest fan, apparently. I even have weird dreams about him. But just tell me what to do, don't make me jump through hoops. Come on. Okay, so this is the main point of the episode and his rambling. We need a campsite. Okay, let's just double check, because that is a recipe, and we need 15 of all woods and iron. So I will grab that, make the campsite, and then we'll put it down. Fabulous, my DIY skills know no bounds. Okay, as for where we're gonna put this thing, I'm thinking near the museum, because there's plenty of beach space on this side, but I don't think there was really big enough for, to be honest, any of the other buildings. The tailors might have lived in this little corner here. But yeah, I think it's kind of nice having the shop and the tailors next to each other, and then you've got the museum and the campsite close by, just because you don't really use those two as much as the shop and the tailors. I guess it depends on the uh, each player, but yeah, for me, these two aren't used nearly as much. But this is the spot. Fantastic. Okay. So another little job that I've got to do is talk to Isabel, and then we've got to make our town flag, our town tune, and things like that. Obviously, trying to push ourselves up to three stars to have KK on the island. But firstly, I'm going to talk to Blavers and see if he's got a little bit of news for me. Hopefully, we can then try and find Brewster. Move the roost in. But not gonna lie, I'm not really sure when that happens, and so, uh, yeah, I might need a couple of days worth of grinding before that can actually happen. Clearly he's asleep, so he's got nothing to say. Um, let me grab the few things out at the uh, museum and donate those, and maybe that will change his mind. Okay, so I've just donated six fossils, approximately eight bugs, and a bit of art as well. So, if he then does think and uh, we have to talk to him about Brewster, it'll probably be the next day, but that's not too much of a concern because obviously we need to skip forward a day or two before the campsite villager will actually move in. So uh, yeah, we're all on track and all is good. Just a quick word to Bo, see if I can gift him a, uh, a certain item if I can. Uh, not quite yet, okay. 
Definitely want to put him in a sheep costume. <laughs> Won't be giving him a, uh, a grave like he gave me. It's very jail town of you, Bo. Oh, here's Wendy. Look at her. Isn't she adorable? Moon sheep. Right, just before I talk to Isabel regarding the town tune and the flag, I'm going to uh, do a few things as far as Nook Miles, and I need to upgrade my inventory space, get the tool ring, certain things like that. It's going to be glorious just having those extra 10 spots. It's one of the most painful things, really, having 20 uh, spaces for inventory. It seems so small. And yet in other games, I'm pretty sure it was even smaller, so uh, I don't know how we really coped with that. Anyway, here we are, the organisation guide. Let's get that. So there's a tool ring just got. I'm sure I'll completely forget about it next time I need to use it and uh, keep going into my inventory, just because I'm a fool. So I'm not going to lie, I've just made a very basic flag and it took me way longer than it should have. So uh, I guess I'll show that off once I leave Resident Services. As for now, we're going to do the island tune. I wish there was just a very quick kind of clear button, but hey, Nintendo like making us jump through hoops and uh, wasting our time with various menus and things. So hopefully they improve that for the next game. Okay, and as we are Utopia, we are the sheep paradise, I feel it's only appropriate that we have this as our tune. It's very nursery rhyme, but there we go. <laughs> Let's hear Isabel sing it. So beautiful. So as you can see, this is our beautiful town flag. I think it encapsulates everything that Utopia is. <laughs> really poorly drawn sheep. Oh, there we go though. It's all a little bit fun. So I guess I'm going to move on to the next couple of days. Obviously I'm going to talk to my residents. Hopefully we can give Bo a sheep costume. But then we're looking to move that campsite villager in. So uh, let's jump on that. Ooh, phone call. Oh, is this going to be... Um a happy home paradise and Lottie. And here she is, the gorgeous Lottie. Bye cuteness! And there she goes. So Blavs is still asleep, so clearly he's not thinking, and so we obviously don't have Cap'n, we're not going to have the chance to get Brewster right now. It feels like an absolute age since I did early game, when in actuality it hasn't been that long, but I just don't remember when that applies, and it, it doesn't help with the fact that on Jailtown I never actually got the roost, so... Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Oh, Wendy wants to say hello? Oh, teach me. Teach me your ways. See, isn't she just adorable? Teaches me how to smile. She just brings joy all around the island. As for this boy, he's an enigma. He's cute. And the town tune in his uh, little uh, melody is fantastic, but he gives you things like graves. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know what to expect from Bo. I would like to give you your sheep costume, though. As for you, why aren't you wearing your sheep costume? Come on. Oh, look, and we've got days in May on the island. Not sure if this is the first time. Definitely feels like it's the first time I'm actually talking to her, but it's, uh, I've had this island for a little bit now. It might have been a Sunday, and then I it just wasn't the morning, so I didn't actually see her. I, I really don't remember. 96 bells isn't actually that bad, so sure, I'll buy some. I have no real intention of uh, trying to fully unlock the achievements for this, because it's quite a slog. Isn't it something like 5, 10 million uh, bells you've got to make from just profit? So, yeah, it, it's a lot. Uh, that being said, I'm just going to buy the 100 for now. That wipes out most of my money. Drop it in front of our home so that it'll try and remind me to actually sell them and at least hit one of the uh, turnip profit milestones. Okay, the moment of truth, we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Are we going to get lucky and hit one of the two sheep available as far as the smug villagers are concerned? And we also have the Able Sisters have just opened their shop. So we can go and uh, spend some money and look fabulous if we don't hit the, uh, the sheep villagers we're after. Another phone call? Oh, it's the Mayday Tour. Okay, I completely forgot about that. It's a very small chance that we're going to hit a uh, sheep smug villager. I believe it's just over 5%, but let's see who we've got, shall we? Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, no. 
<laughs> hey hands. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to putting you in a sheep costume. <laughs> oh no. Well, we got lucky as far as our villager hunt previously where we got Stella, Wendy and Bo. I suppose our luck had to run out at some point. Oh, look at this boy. <laughs> I don't want him, no, don't make me. Uh, at least you're woolly like a sheep, I guess. You should live here. Nook, you'll never guess what happened. There's a big, abominable yeti staying at our campsite and he wants to live here. Well, I feel it's only fitting that as we've got a big, abominable snowman, a yeti, he should live on the beach. Yay! We've got a home for hands, everybody. <laughs> oh, I mean, he's not the worst. It's, he's definitely different. It's a very small detail, but I don't think I've ever noticed before. Does the uh, Able Sisters play the tune, the town tune, if you open the door? Just, just have a listen. I think it does. I've never noticed that before, and it's such a cute detail. Anyway, as far as... Uh, Obviously, the island is concerned, we have to move hands in, and so I want to cheer myself up by buying this tiara and feeling pretty. <laughs> I, can, I need all the help I can get. There. Aren't I the prettiest girl? Mabel, tell me I'm pretty. I need to build a bridge, so I can run away from hands at all times. Just the cheapest bridge for now, I guess. I do intend to improve the bridges, once I actually start designing the island, obviously it's a no terraforming island, so I'm not going to mess around with the cliffs or the water, anything like that. But yeah, I would like the bridges to actually match the rest of the island, like I said, once I get to the designing part. But for now, we're just going with the basic bridge, just so I can run away from uh, certain villages. After I give them the sheep costume, of course. Although this cherry tree is a little bit problematic, but we can always move it. So we have our shiny new bridge. Lovely, lovely. And we have this beautiful boy. <laughs> Hello, Hans. I'm not really surprised that this is your wallpaper and flooring. I, it kind of goes with your theme, I guess. So guys, I'm going to end today's episode here. Thank you very much for watching if you made it this far into the video. It is only a short one, but we've got a lot of things done for the island. Join me for the next video, and we'll definitely be going on a villager hunt and trying to look for a sheep villager as opposed to this boy. I am looking forward to putting me in the sheep costume though, so uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and consider subscribing if you haven't done already. And I hope to see you in the next time. Cheers guys. Have a good one.